Welcome back to MPT. In today's video, we will be discussing how phased arrays are an essential part of 5G systems. I'm gonna discuss four characteristics of mobile phone access points that make them such a game-changing investment. Be sure to watch to the end and I'll describe some free resources for you on this topic. Get your product to market faster with a custom phased array solution from MPT Corp. One of the main enabling technologies that make 5G mobile phone systems so powerful is the phased arrays that are used in them. Before we dive into the four characteristics though, let's start with a bit of background information on wireless networks. Most everyone has heard of or seen on their phones a screen that says 4G or 5G enabled. However, many may not know what that really means. Mobile phone communication started with 1G or first generation wireless technology in the 1980s. Those mobile phones were analog, large, heavy, and had terrible battery life. It was also very expensive to make calls with them as much as a few dollars per minute. Worse yet, there was no data connection, just voice. Next came the 2G or second generation cellular network of the 1990s. It was a great improvement and used digital modulations for both voice and data communication. However, the modulation was simple by today's standards and only supported very low data rates. A big advancement came with the introduction of third generation and fourth generation systems, which are commonly called 3G and 4G. With these systems, data rates increased significantly. For instance, 3G systems support a few megabits per second and 4G can support tens of megabits per second for mobile phones, though the theoretical limit for 4G is much higher. A main characteristic of 1G to 4G systems is that they used dumb antennas. In other words, the, the antennas transmitted the signals in all areas equally in each sector. This means that users in the area covered by the cellular signal shared the same antenna beam with other users. This resulted in significant waste of signal. This fact is one of the reasons that 1G to 4G systems have limited data rates. However, some of the 5G systems will use a completely different type of approach. They will use very smart antenna arrays, which are commonly called radio units. Let's dive into the four characteristics now. The first characteristic is that many of the 5G antennas will use phased arrays that can steer their antenna beams across the area that they're uh, uh, set over to connect with multiple users. Uh, this is opposed to the dumb antennas that just transmitted in their sector alone. This means that the antenna beam can follow users as they move. It also means that the antennas will focus more signal in the direction of users. The result is much higher data rates to users. The second characteristic is that many of the 5G systems will support multiple antenna beams. Not only will some of the 5G antennas have steerable beams, but many of them will have multiple simultaneous beams that will focus the mobile signal in the direction of many different users or clusters of users. This characteristic will further increase the data rate to users. To support these multiple beams and high data rate to users, 5G access points allow for optical ethernet connections, which brings us to the third characteristic. The figure shows a typical 5G radio unit. The radio unit contains a phase arrays and very sophisticated electronics. It converts the over-the-air signals from the users to the digital bits that are sent to the carrier backbone. The figure shows a phased array antenna on one end and high-speed Ethernet connections on the other. A unique characteristic of this system is that it supports 25 gigabit per second Ethernet connections for both uplink and downlink. Moreover, most of the systems will use fiber optic connections. This means that the antennas are not only smart because they have phased arrays, but they're also smart because they perform the conversion of radio frequency signals to digital signals ready for ethernet transmission. As a result, 5G radio units are truly game-changing advancements for wireless communications. The fourth characteristic is that the 5G systems will allow operation of new frequency ranges. Over the last few years, governments have auctioned or authorized the use of new frequency bands for 5G. In fact, recent auctions have opened up frequency bands in 2.5 and 3.5 gigahertz and multiple bands in the millimeter wave frequency range. 
as an example, in the United States, the FCC auctioned off Spectrum in the 3.7, the 4 gigahertz range, and raise $81 billion. <laughs> These additional frequency bands will mean that the carriers will have more spectrum available. More spectrum means higher data rates to users. However, the antennas will need to be redesigned to operate in these new bands. In this video, we have discussed four characteristics of 5G radio units with phase arrays. I think you'll agree that these systems are a significant advancement over prior generations of mobile radio communication. As pointed out, MPT has some resources for you on this topic. For instance, we have a free white paper that you, that's linked below. I've also linked a related blog post that I think you may, may find interesting. If you're in the market for a phased array, then consider the experts here in MPT. Until next time, this is Rick Sturdivant with MPT.